everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews. You join us driving up to 50 Supercars in Bradford and Avon, which is a prestigious storage supercar barn. We've got a beautiful October sunny day, probably the last sunny day we're going to have in October. So we'll get on with the journey and you'll join us when we arrive. here now. Welcome to Five Zeros Supercars. Why Five Zeros? Well, Five Zeros on average is the, is the value related to the type of marks that are stored here. And the marks that are stored here range from Koenigsegg to Aston Martins to Porsches to Ferraris, pretty much any type of supercar. Now, Five Zeros came about because the founder, David, was on a road trip in America and came across a design car museum. David thought, how? Hey, this sort of concept doesn't exist in the UK, so why not set one up? So the design concept for Five Zero Supercars was built around having a very light, airy facility. Now this building is the first building, is the first storage facility for Five Zero Supercars. And this was put together and built on the back of a barn. So if you, if you look at the rafters, you can actually see the original cross members that were here, or the original main um, members that were, that were used for the original barn. They built on the back of that, pretty much sandblasted and cleaned back those, those cross members and repainted them. And then they added all the rest of the structure. You can see just by looking around, it's a very light, airy concept. You haven't got false mannequins. Pretty much the focus is the cars. The packages that Five Zero Supercars offer differ from a lot of the other storage facilities. When you agree to store your car here at Five Zeros, you agree to also have your car on display. Some of the cars actually owned are owned by David. He has some of his own collection here, for example, the Pista and a few of the Aston Martins that are here. This is the first building for Five Zero Supercars. They intend to scale out. We already have a barn um, to the left. That's going to be converted into a similar design as this building. This mezzanine floor is also going to be extended across to all the other barns. So they're going to knock through here and it will extend out across this platform to the other barns. Now the various different facilities they have here, in addition to of course the storage facility, is they have an American style diner downstairs which provides for the, the normal sort of fare, so um, hot dogs, burgers, that sort of thing. Again, built on the back of the road trip that, that David had in America. Five Zeros market this experience as a prestige supercar dealership experience and I can totally understand why. Now they don't only provide storage facility, they also provide, provide the whole facility, the whole floor space as an area for supercar owners clubs or various different mark owner cl owners clubs to come in and enjoy the facilities and to meet up, network etc. As you can see this is a perfect environment for to support facilities such as podcasting. Hopefully we are, we'll be able to do some Rich Reviews podcasts here in the future. You see, look at the size of that screen. It's just one of the incredible amenities that David has incorporated into this space. Absolutely fantastic. So it's a supercar experience. So let's go down and take a look at some of the supercars. I'm sure you'll be astonished at some of the marks that are here today.
So first of all, we're going to cover off some of the cars in this lower space, in this lower floor space. First of all, my 458 Spider. Coming around to the back, we have a Lamborghini Reventon. Next to the Reventon, we have a Ferrari F12 in TDF blue. Next to the F12, we have a 488 Pista. Next to the Pista, we have an F8 in Hong Kong Viola. This is a very, very rare um, mauve purplish color. Fantastic, beautiful color. Next to, next to the F8, we have a Koenigsegg CCR. Next to the Koenigsegg CCR, we have an AMG GTR Mercedes. And here we have an actual Vulcan, would you believe it? An actual Vulcan. Notwithstanding the Vulcan, next to the Vulcan, we have a McLaren P1 GTR. So to cover off some of the cars on the right hand side here, we have an R8. Next to the R8, we have a Cayman GTS. Next to the GTS, we have a 964 Porsche 911. Next to the Porsche 911, we have an AMG C63. Next to the C63, we have a 997 911. Next to the 997, we have an Aston Martin Vantage GT12. To finish off the display here, on the left-hand side, we have a DB11 with a stripped-out monocoque. This DB11 still has the engine fitted. To finish off the floor space here, we have a Shelby Mustang GTR. Next to the GTR, we have a Zagato, an Aston Martin Zagato. And then we have a, the Wing series or some cars from the Wing series of Aston Martin. I'm not too sure about these cars, but I know that they're very limited production runs. So very small numbers were made of these, of these Wing series of Aston Martins. So they're very prestigious. So that's pretty much it for our first venture into 5.0 supercars. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. It doesn't cost anything to do so, it's free, and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.